Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can send emails in Laravel. So this is very important topic whenever we will work on any real time project in Laravel. So there are very high chances that we have to develop a send email functionality or feature. So first we have to make some configurations then we will write code to send the email. So first of all we will go to the .env file in Laravel and there we will make some configuration changes in the email. After that we will go to the, our uh, Gmail there and then we have to generate a application and password so that we can send the emails see here we will not send email directly by the gmail but whenever we are sending some email so we need a email server so there you can either use gmail or yahoo mail or something else so i have account on the gmail so that's why i'll send the email according to that all right and this generating application and password is very simple so don't worry about this then we will uh, create an email file in Laravel application. We will make controller and router so that uh, we can send the email uh, by the reloading the uh, router. After that, we have to make an email template also. Then we will see how we can send the email and test it like this is working fine or not. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. Yeah, and this is the Laravel 11 tutorial playlist that will definitely help you out for Laravel job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part so first let's move on the .env file so you will find this .env file on the root of your project and there you will see uh, on the line number 49 to uh, 55 the line number can be changed according to the project and version so don't worry about that but we have to make some changes only on this area so first we have to uh, just change the mailer email so there we will put SMPT, SMTP and then we have to put the host. So here we will put smtp.gmail.com. After that port, in the case of Gmail, the port is 587. After that username, username will be your email ID only. So you can just mention there anil. In my case, anil.kumar.vids at the rate gmail.com then a password that we have to generate and the encryption uh, here you can simply put there TLS then uh, again you can copy this email ID and put to put to the uh, email address this one also all right so you don't no need to make the changes for email from name so this is perfectly fine okay so the next thing we have to go to the gmail and then simply go to the manage account then in this search google account just simply put their app password you will find this their app passwords and click on this then it will ask for login or your gmail thing then you can just simply log in it after that you have to create your uh, email uh, app for uh, uh, send the email so you can just simply mention anything I'm just mentioning there Anil Sidhu or something whatever you want to put you can put there then create and there uh, you will get a, a password for your application uh, for this case maybe you are not able to see this password because this is, can be a security concern so I am just uh, hiding it or blurring it and uh, then after that you can just simply click on the done and see whenever you will copy this password from there keep in mind there is some space between the letters so you have to remove these letters otherwise otherwise that a password will not work your email will be not sent by the laravel right then again open the env file and uh, just change this password null to the uh, whatever password you copy from the gmail and you have to remove the space between them all right so the next thing uh, you have to open the terminal and then you have to uh, generate an email file. So I am just stopping the PHP artisan server and I am putting there PHP artisan make mail and your email uh, password uh, name. Let's say I am just putting there welcome mail. You can put any name to this file, it will not impact, name will not impact there. And you will find there this file is generated in the app mail and this so what is the use of this i'll let you know in few moments but we need a controller also 
so just put there php artisan make controller and controller name so controller name can be let's say mail controller or anything whatever you want to put okay so now let's just go to this controller and therefore a moment i am putting a function and function name let's say send email or something and for a moment to test the route and everything i'm just returning some static text let's say send email right and then uh, go to the web.php file for make a route for this so routes web.php and then import this file and at last mention there mail controller and then let create a route there get and there the pass uh, the route can be let's say send email then uh, the controller name colon colon class and the second parameter we have to put the function name that we want to call on this route which is send email like this so now we can check the route after starting the php artisan server let me put there send email okay so what was the route name send email yeah so this is perfectly working fine so next thing to this controller we don't need dot env file so we can remove it and we don't need dot web.php file so we can also remove that so now let's define their three variable tool to whom we want to send this email so i'm putting there my email ad address only anil dot kumar dot at the rate gmail.com right and then in the second we can put their message like what message we want to send mm, so we can say that dummy text by code step by step channel and then third one will be let's say subject and there we can mention code step by step all right okay so after that we have to import two thing there first we have to import the email class second thing we have to import there this welcome email.php also so what is the use of this i'll just let you know in the one second so first just push, put there use uh illuminate then support then facade and then mail after that use app mail and welcome mail right so all files are imported so we have to use this mail file to send the email so we don't need to return anything or if you just want to keep it you can keep there is no harm then uh, mail colon colon to there we have to put the uh, uh, mail receiver name and then after that uh, there is a send function and this send function we have to use new welcome mail file this file right we have to use there and again there we have to pass their dollar message as well as dollar subject all right so now we have to open the welcome dot uh, email file and we have to receive these two parameters so to receive these two parameters i am defining two properties there public msg dollar m msg and then public dollar subject all right now these two parameters will be received in our constructor of this class right so there we can receive and now we can assign these dollar this msg and yeah there we can uh, declare this params similarly we can create one more line and there we will use subject 
and we will uh, receive this subject assign this subject to the subject property okay so now you will find a envelope function also so in this envelope function there is a, again envelope class the so subject we have to put there so you can just simply copy this subject and paste it there like this right and now in the content we have to uh, either we can directly put some html or either you can create a view file and you can use there so let me create a one view file inside resources views and let me create one mail file mail dot blade dot php right and there let me just simply put their h1 tag sample email and there in the body we can simply for now i'm just putting there mail by anil sidhu or something right and let me just make this capital a all right so now we have to use this mail uh, there so you don't need to give path or anything you can just simply put their mail and but keep in mind if in the views we have the another folder let's say mail uh, views then you have a folder template and inside this we have a email file so then you have to put their folder name first and then email file uh, uh, for example template dot email but this is just outside to the uh, any folder and directly inside the views so you can directly put this file name so i think any uh, everything is fine there so let me try to send a email so i'm just refreshing this it will take some time if there is no error then mail should be sent now let me just open the email and here you can see that just now we received the email code uh, step by step uh, this is a subject and uh, there you can see that uh, mail by anil sethu right so now because see there we are putting this uh, simply h1 tag but i want to send this text by this file so there we have a message dummy text by code step by text by code step by step channel so i just this is already passed to the uh, there you can see that uh, in message in our welcome email class and there we are using template so we can directly use this property message property there so just use the double, double curly braces then dollar message and if you just again refresh it you will find there again one more mail is there it will just take some time come back there and you can see that dummy text by uh, code step by step channel so this is how we can send the simple email so next part what we will do we will just put this subject email id and password everything in our uh, html form and then we will send the email so thank you so much for watching this part if you have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys